you were always passionate about um, acting. You've got a huge creative side. I mean, you sort of studied it at uni. Did Did you always have that in mind? What you wanted to do, or did you I kind of sway like around? I feel such a wanker, but yeah, <laughs> I was always, uh, I guess, an egomaniac. Because apart from, and this is very predictable, uh, almost every Catholic girl I know went through a little bit of a nun phase, and I did. Actually consider it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, when I was in grade six. Oh, well, it seems a little... I'm thinking the flying nun. I, well, flying, but possibly <laughs> a different kind of high. Um, I remember, yeah, nun came and gave us a chat when I was in grade seven, yeah. and she told us this story about how she lived in the country and how she had like a two-mile walk to a bus stop every day and how every day when she did this walk she'd ask herself should it, should I become a nun and at the end of five years she did so I just thought this story was incredible and I've run home and I've told my brother and my brother did rain on my parade a little bit because he said you know if she'd asked herself a different question that many times she might have become a prostitute <laughs> So that's what an older brother will do for you. So that was fairly short-lived. But, yeah, always wanted to be a performer, wanted to be an actor. And then, so, yep, studied theatre arts at Curtin Uni in Perth for a couple of years, moved to Melbourne because I thought I'm so brilliant that surely if I move to Melbourne, the Victorian College of the Arts will take me. They'll just take you. They didn't. Um, but there was a lot of comedy in Melbourne. And it was always kind of my plan B. I did know a lot of comedy was especially at that time, you know, coming from places like The Last Laugh. Yeah. And, and so then I just, I talked about it for a year and then I finally got up and did it. And I was, I mean, God, if anyone's watching, I'd still love to do some acting. <laughs> but I was attracted to the idea of being able to create your own work. Yeah. And I like the idea that with comedy you can write your own stuff. So and it does take you on a microphone and that's it. Yeah, and you're doing stand-up and basically that's your, that's where the heart lies, right? That's I've got to say, at the yeah. end of every tour, I'm so happy to do something else. Yeah. And, you know, and realistically, this is a small country. So you find most comedians, yeah. Yeah. we do go off and do a bit of radio, we write books or we do a television you know you really do have to mix it up and I'm incredibly grateful that I have been able to mix it up but I guess if you held a gun to my head and said you can only do one of these things it would be stand up god help me 